he hangs around, he dies, and automatically might have time to defuse. So, big round for Liquid, keeping Genji's economy low, but finally the last bonus has come through. Oh, Nap with a leg. He is on a. Oh, that's a. No, why? Oh, no. Not like this. Nah. Not that like is, this. That's nasty. That's some unforgiving. <laughs> situation it's knowing the pressure is on gen g they've given up connector but this is very much by design it's the one avenue of the map that liquid have just conceded and so they know this is where gen g are going to be coming from they're set up with a triple hold back in ct to try and shut it down automatic well he does get one nitro swinging from in this bomb site and oh it's the hold for the half yes, from nitro four kills in the round as he turns gen g to mince me this a site belongs to him and liquid they're going to take yet another the CT round, nothing on the board yet for Gen G, and that's not changing anytime soon. And if there's one thing Nitro knows about, it's going to be Tony Sashries. I can assure you that, Harry. I promise you, it comes basically from where he's 20. Naf is about to unroot this entire round. He knows what they're doing, and he's letting them pass. He doesn't want to kill automatic. Let's see if that comes back to bite a player on the site as Naf looks to win this entire round off of his patience. Oh my goodness. Oh, Naf, oh, Naf no! no! Not yeah, gone well for young Naf there. It's rather nasty affair at hand, and that is unfortunate, Harry. Yeah, that's devastating, man. He tries to play the trigger discipline, and he, he has a chance to do so much damage. And, like, the moment he doesn't get that first kill, that throws everything off. You know, the head dink animation betrays him. He gets caught kind of, you know, like, trying to kill both players by just aiming in the middle. And it's that moment of disarray that's given Genji a fighting chance. Now, the rotations have come in Ooh. for Team Liquid. And Stewie lands a, a, an incredible shot there onto the player getting out of apps. It's all left onto automatic. Oh, okay, oh, then. The one with a nitro and Stewie. Automatic down to the 1v1. Just twist left to beat. He taps the bomb. They've recovered again. And they're going to be tying things up. Uh, yeah, like you said, didn't really seem like Galtai would have been ready for another quick play here. They probably think, okay. Oh, no. What? What? Okay, Farley's running in. He's got a kit. He's got a smoke. Oh, no. no. North. Oh, they're nowhere near this. Farley just walking in with a ninja defuse. No. Oh, my God. He pulls it off and God sent a seventh round. North had it in the bag. They walk in with the pistols. They find success in the tech nines and they all leave the bomb. Farley coming in with a ninja defuse. That is filthy. That is filthy from Farley. Oh my god, North are going to be so frustrated with themselves. They did everything right to win the round, and then they just oh. didn't want for this, uh, this wrap. And Twist now arriving, shuts down Buntek. Kooster is fed to the Wolves. He's got to go Ooh. above. Oh, and beyond, but he's got himself a double. Now tapping on the bomb. He's sticking it. No, he's not. Twist playing the mind no games, but way. Kooster lands the Deeg and a 1v3 from him to find an eighth for Gen G at the end of this first half of play. Narrowly, they sit in the lead. Team Liquid on their map pick, struggling right now. They sit 1-0 up in this series. He's been an adventurer with the AWP on the CT side. Lots of different positions, lots of very aggressive picks. Two, two different ways to look down alt. He's not been scared to work alone and, and take a risk. Really appreciate that. Yeah, he's very successful in like pushing back the fog of war, you know, finding those spots of uncertainty and then very clearly taking the control. But he yeah. gives up yep. control of everything this time. He's going to go over to the B site, which will enable Cloud9 to save, sure enough. But this is looking like a six for MIB. <laughs> Velho. Mano, eu nunca tinha feito isso. We talked about before, Dean, that we praised in the past. Valda at the back of Oil Train, in fact. The closest player to him is on the A site. Uh, this could be very dangerous. Even that Molotov won't serve the purpose that it normally would. Eventually, the rotate comes through as Alexi B is here to help. Uh, but Valda, they're coming through the smoke. And they've no idea! The spray down is amazing! Three players taken down a fourth as well. And the round is won by OG in the weirdest of ways. <laughs> There's no way. How would you predict a player to be there at that stage? Uh, before he's done, but right now he's not getting none. Liquid going back up catwalk into this orb of automatic. He's playing a crouch peak. He's going to be jumping up, showing his little head. There's one. He does find it. And now they start to cross into his crosshair. Automatic with a Ooh. second. And he's going to light up another round for us with this orb. He's on a third. There's just no stopping him. No, not at this point.
Prestige can't even do it with his own AWP, and that's a round for Automatic for himself and for his team, but for himself. He puts that one in his pocket. And we look at a pretty even scoreline heading into the last round of the half here between these two teams. Again, an elimination game. Very crucial. Yeah, I remember. Peace out. Maybe ladder. Maybe ladder. Like, who's going to south? The parrying is the booster. Близко, близко. Чё, бля? Вы чё сейчас сказали? Four phase, they have a huge bit of real estate here as they just mow down these B push players. Santaris will trade, but he should know there's a second man here, and he does. Players coming from the market, gonna have a crossfire with that orb. There's nowhere to go for Santaris. He's walking into death on either side. Nice kill. The spray transfer, he's so fast, he won't hit the shot. Cold has to play retake, and Rain's coming in from the market. Yeah, and it's the fact he doesn't know where Rain is. But that nade's given up the aim of the game. Cold might just catch the positioning here. Might just catch the timing. As Zantares has looked away, Cold has pushed through the apartments. And Zantares goes for the fight, gets it. Oh, now down to the 1v1. And even as time to get the reload off. Oh, Zantares back up again. But Cold not able to deal the killing blow. Zantares no. gets it and he gets the clutch. Four kills in the round. And Zantares take a bow. You can see the smile on his... Спасибо Вилона, короче, за шоу матч. Это был, блядь, был неинтересный для меня, потому что я не играл. А так нет, нас разъебали жестко. Но! Пока ты, блядь, будешь Дрейку очко нализывать, и вы его не будете хуесосить за то, что он берет авик и сливается с ним. Тем самым подбивает... Что ты берет авик и сливается? Вот ты даешь ебучий дезинфузию. Он постоянно... Я говорю, не бери авик. Я говорю, не бери авик, я не буду его подбирать. Ректи говорит, нам нужен навик, он говорит, он говорит, хорошо, и покупает его со своих карманных. Нет, он изначально его купил, я говорю потом, типа, что... Это пиздец, типа, ну, если тебе сказали, не надо брать авик, значит, слушай команду, блядь. Ты от себя тяну, реально пиздец какую-то. Я ничего, кроме как савика, киллы не давал, понимаешь, блядь? От меня импакта ноль бы было, если бы я с рефлой играл. Пропал ламака. Старт. Я написал его. Он на сервере уже каком-то надо. Да, over onto short side now. Now V, they're setting up in the apartments. B Master's here alone, but he's got Broki on the rotation. Molly's gonna find some good damage, and B Master's repositioning. The call gets caught. B Master's gonna have a bit of a stand here, and he's getting pressured. Wow! Oh, does he answer the call? He's gonna put up three, and now it's simple. And Boomich left to try and turn the tide. Two on four. Broki here as well, and once again, it's B Master and Broki holding down this round for Phase, and they just might find the map on the back of it. You gotta get past Simple, and B Master will four in the round for him, one for Broki. And FaZe, they'll pick up Mirage. That was pretty damn good for FaZe, man. Like, a very competitive... Oh, dear. Twist, he's gone full Bentet. He's pushed long. He's on a flank. They're coming three, Cat and Gen G. They, it's not just one flank, it's two. Naf is there as well. Palm tree flash for Elise. He's going to go out. He'll surely get both here. There he goes. Nice spray. Stop with one. Dropping in the pit, but Elise will flick right back with an ace. What a legend. On a rifle round as well. That's, uh, that's gonna be a rough one, Harry. Yeah, I want to know what Elise has done to wake up like this, man. He's 26 kills deep. He has doubled the next nearest guy on his team. And he aces that round there up against the four spy from Gen G. I'm convinced he's just like mainlining, you know, coffee or monster or something. Like at this point, like... ...с КПУ Колда. Ему будет крайне сложно как-то разобраться. Наверное, в такой же ситуации оказались. Вот спуск плюс гусь. Ну, это такой дубль 2, и сейчас Ника на этот раз не с длины Азига пойдет на своих соперников. Ну, знаете, со второй попытки, возможно, что-то получится у Фейскла, но по ХП они явно проиграют эту ситуацию по гранатам, ну... Вот такой смог, в итоге Электроник падает, Калзира с длины наказывает еще и снайпера, и как же уверенно выбивает команда Фейс Клан. Слишком зажались Нави на пленте, у них не было хороших позиций, и Зик не смогли занять, и Лонг не смогли прожать, и вниз никто не упал, хотя, возможно, в какой-то... Bad lines surprise me a lot in practice, for example. They play, they play like very explosive and very, like very fast and versatile. And in practice, it's like it's even worse, right? You, you, you never know what to expect out of them. So, yeah. Push every smoke, always yeah. running straight Boopski through everything. Boopski is insane what he is doing. It's crazy. Yeah, well, cool, man. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the insight right there. That was just, I was personally yeah. curious because it's always yeah. something. Smoke that decides he's going to have to fall back. And oh, hello, Rumbus round the side, Tizzy. And oh, it works for him. Great kill from Tizzy and gets the entry and to be off the back of the Rumbus. I love a good Rumbus.
It's always brilliant when it works out, and Tizian has found so many openings now for B. Into this first half. Virtus Pro, they've lost again.